Yo, what is going on? Teofimo versus Cambosos, the fight that just won't happen. We're going to talk about all that more in this video. Throw a like on the video. I'm coming back. Yo, what up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Thank you for all the support after all these years. You guys are great. Teofimo Lopez versus Cambosos. You guys see it on the screen. I don't even know at this point what's, what's good and what's going on. They said the date was a Monday, October 4th. As you guys know, if you listen to my videos and you listen to the channel, I says that date could be very problematic based on the fact that they would have to compete and contend with Monday Night Football, Oakland Raiders game. Now, it seems like my message has gotten out to the people in charge, and they're saying that they're thinking about exploring moving the, the fight date, right? And doing a whole date altogether. This is just, this is a nightmare. It says, Triller is exploring moving Teofimo Lopez, George Cambosos from Monday, October 4th at New York's Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden to Saturday, October 16th at the Barclays Center. Brooklyn CEO, or Brooklyn where the Barclays is at, CEO Ryan Cavanaugh tells the ESPN's Mike Coppinger. If this is, this is what y'all need to pay attention to. If the fight does move on, it would mark the fifth date change. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Plead the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the fifth date change. We got J-Lo. Oh, my gosh. This, this is just, at this point, this is a nightmare. It's like, how long does it take to make a fight? Tio Fimo, he went around and said that he was the A-side. He's bigger than Tank. All this was cap between Teofimo being a network fighter on top rank and then saying I'm not fighting for less than five million minimums. And they have completely shot all of this stuff. They have completely shot Teofimo Lopez's momentum. Any momentum that he had from doing a good thing, might I add, with Lomachenko and beating Lomachenko, they have completely, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind and emphatically they have ruined that momentum and that forward progress five date changes he got the rona they said and then they said he was good though they said he no longer had the rona so he hasn't had the rona he just got a, a vax i seen him post a picture it's like what what is this what takes so long for one fight to happen and this is what causes people to lose interest in boxing altogether because it just can't be explained. Teofimo has done a lot of talking and said, like I said, said he's he's a bigger star. He's the A side over Javante Davis. These things can't be qualified. They're, they're not true. Tank Davis did a live gate of like $5 million in Atlanta in a pandemic. And he's fighting. Like, that's the most important thing. His fights are actually happening. Like, his fights, there's no delays. He's coming back. So by the time Teofimo fights whenever, they're talking about Tank will return October, November, December. By the time Teofimo, Monday night, Tuesday night, they, they said they were going to put on Tuesday. Then they said Monday. They wanted to do it in Australia. And then Teofimo's team complained, said they don't want to have to deal with the, the quarantine and this, that, and the third. By the time this fight actually does happen, Tank will have fought three times or he will be encroaching his third fight. Tank fought on Halloween and had a spectacular knockout of the year against Leo Santa Cruz. Fact. Tank later fought against Mario Barrio. So that Texas fight with Leo Santa Cruz, 
Then he fought against Mario Barrios in an electrifying crowd. Again, did a gate of like 5 million in the pandemic, right? And he got another spectacular knockout with some knockdowns. And he's about to come back. And Teofimo, he's been sick, him and Tyson Fury. So two top rank fighters, they all contracted the Rona, supposedly conflicting stories. It's just, this is a nightmare, people. This is truly all over the place. And he also, it's just a bad look for so many reasons. He also said he was sending a contract to Devin Haney. He said, we got a contract. We're going to send one to Devin Haney and one to George Cambosos. And we're going to decide. We knew and I told you that it wasn't going to be Devin Haney that got the opportunity. And I'm correct. And speaking of Devin Haney, I got some more content coming because it appears Devin Haney can't catch a break. Devin Haney, he's at a point where he can't get the fights that he's looking for, right? He can't get the fights that he's looking for. And it's just sad because his mandatories might fight each other. Teofimo said that he's going to send a contract to him and it won't happen. But I got videos coming, so make sure you, you stay tuned for all that's happening in boxing. This is just ultimately is sad for boxing. It's sad to see a lot of the Ryan Garcia, he's pulling out anxiety. Uh, Teofimo Lopez has been five cancellations. And like, how do you not plan for, hey, we're, we're going to put this fight on a Monday night. Let's check the schedule to see if the Grammys are on or Oakland Raiders or something we don't want to compete with. And this is just a bad look also for top rank because this is your fighter. And look at how this is going on with Triller. Triller has not looked in in the best of light i guess you could say with um how it played out with the vander holyfield fight and so forth and then now this this back and forth back and forth new dates and date switches it's it's it becomes too much for boxing fans to endure and it's just very senseless it's, it's very senseless that these young fighters are acting nothing like and being managed nothing like the fighters of yesteryear where you didn't really see this with Sugar Ray Leonard's career or Floyd Mayweather even fights like that Roy Jones these guys are in their physical prime youthful and they're not in the ring for whatever reason and credit to Camboso Camboso I gotta give him credit Camboso has stated that he's ready and he's been ready so I can't fault Camboso's one bit for any of this Cambosos himself, he looks like he's been training. As I just showed you guys, he's in shape and he's ready to go. And none of this is his fault. He was trying to do the fight and do it in Arizona. But guess what? Top rank and Teofimo's team didn't want that. And now they're exploring another date switch, which is just, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that they're still talking about switching dates and you know these various things like that at this point literally what is today today is as i'm recording the video september 20th they're talking about the fight is supposed to be next month october 4th and they're just now revealing he also told ariel hawani the same information they're just now revealing that there could they could move the the date for the fight so it's like how why how does this keep happening where Teofimo, who said his momentum is just completely shot? There, there's no other nice way to put it. It is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the video. I'll keep you guys updated, but they, they're going to need more than J-Lo because this is just a nightmare. Deuces. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, I'm out. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.